Hi everyone, do you know the big environmental issues of the world affecting us? I am going to tell you. Welcome back. Today we are going to start a new series on global environmental issues. In the short video, we will see what are the major environmental problems of the world and how can we group them. The present video is going to include these polar problems. For an easy understanding, we are grouping these problems into three regions. That is one polar region, second temperate and the third tropical region. So first in this video, we are diving into the polar region. Why? Because this is the most sensitive region out of all other areas of the world. Let us briefly look at the geography of this region. See the map or sketch what you observe. The southern part is occupied by Antarctica, meaning landmass that is surrounded by vast ocean off from all sides. And the northern part is generally surrounded by land almost all sides, excluding the area between the Greenland and the Scandinavia. The South Antarctica is nearly covered with thick ice. On the other hand, the polar area lacks such huge ice sheet if we exclude the Greenland. Now, what is the situation of the human being in this region? The human being living in this region face many environmental issues since they are out of environmental comfort zone. They face issues like extreme cold, precipitation in form of snow, low biological productivity of land, very long days and nights. Therefore, people cope up with variety of issues. The soil of this region is also PT, meaning it is storing the sequestered carbon. Therefore, any minor change in global temperature has a serious implication on the release of carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere, meaning global warming. In short, what we can say that this, is, this polar ecosystem is very fragile or very sensitive. The flora and fauna is extremely delicate and has a long recovery time, that too if they can recover at all. So with this background, we are starting from the first major issue that is global warming and melting of the polar ice. In the section of the environmental program, part 2, we have already discussed the rate at which carbon dioxide is increasing in the atmosphere. Those who have missed the program, they can find the link in the description area. Now come to the overall impact of the warming or global warming on Antarctica or Antarctica continent. Look at the geography of this gigantic continent Antarctica. The map shows that the total area of Antarctica is about 1.38 crore square kilometer, including ice shelves and the islands. Out of this entire area, 98% is covered by ice. Therefore, it has world largest ice mass. And also in this region, we find the most extensive glacier of the world, which is known as Lambert Glacier. It covers more than 10 lakh square kilometer of the Antarctica. If you compare this Lambert with India, then the glacier will occupy one third portion of entire country. Similarly, there is another Larsen ice sheet or ice shelf that is our area of concern. The polar scientist says that the mass of this Larsen ice shelf has decreased by 40% over the past decades due to global warming and all this is resulting in the sea level rise. And that is also resulting in the loss of habitat, not only for the several polar species, but also species living in the other coastal parts of the world, including we human being living in the coastal Mumbai or in New York or any other coastal part of the world. The same is the case of the polar region in North. In this map, the blue line over the Greenland and its surrounding area is showing where the maximum melting has taken place during the last 30 years. And the reason for the melting is of course the global warming. So with this, let us come to our second point. I mean the destruction of fauna. The list of endangered species in polar area is increasing. The top endangered animals in the Arctic region are listed here. They are being hunted for their fur like arctic fox, meat and overfishing. Secondly, the size of their habitat is also decreasing due to global warming. And thirdly, oil and mineral industry are disturbing their ecosystem. 
Now let us look at the next problem in our list that is the creation of ozone hole over the Antarctica. The popular term ozone hole is actually a misnomer. There is no such hole in the stratospheric ozone layer. Its thickness is measured in Dobson unit has actually decreased over the Antarctica. Moreover, its thickness also varies seasonally and geographically. The polar scientists say that this so-called ozone hole reached its maximum in the year 2016. The reason was the Montreal Protocol, meaning the treaty to reduce the agents of its destruction like CFC, HFC and halons and extra. This protocol was adopted in the year 1987. And to date, it is the only UN treaty that has been ratified by almost every country on the earth. We all know why this layer is vital for all of us since it stops the ultraviolet radiation, especially the UF, UVC, which is very harmful to all living entities. But this ozone is important if it is above the troposphere, otherwise it is poisonous gas on the ground. The other important and the serious environmental issue is the decrease in productivity of phytoplankton. You know that the phytoplankton are crucial to the marine ecosystems. They are the foundation of marine food web or food pyramid since they convert solar energy into chemical energy for their aquatic organisms. Therefore, they are primary producers of the marine environment. The polar scientist have uh, concluded that ozone depletion in Antarctica has decreased the productivity of this phytoplankton and in general this reduction is about 10%. We have already discussed that this region is extremely environmentally sensitive area of entire world. Therefore, any minor change in temperature due to global warming may have a severe impact on the ecosystem of this. Now, let us look at the another crucial environmental problem of this polar region that is the de development of oil industry, especially in Alaska. The Alaska is the largest US state by far and this region deserves its reputation for being very cold. The substantial proportion of oil produced in the United States come from this region which is about 25 percent so the oil was discovered in this region in the year 1962 since then the alaska oil industry has produced more than 17 billion barrels of oil the environmentalists point out many issues regarding this oil industry like the oil pipeline in this region has disturbed the caribou migration route the underground oil pipeline is also thawing or melting the immediate region the pipeline also crosses the earthquake belts plus many wildlife na national parks which is disturbing the migration routes of the animals. It is also important to note that more than 300 oil spills have already been recorded in this region. From the cultural point of view, the development of oil industry is fast changing the traditional lifestyle of this region that is another dimension of the environment. We will cover this issue in another video. So this is the end of the present episode and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know by writing your comments and kindly subscribe to this channel for quality content. Thank you.